it's sad to, to see somebody feel like they can't be honest, to be honest with yourself and feel guilty about it. There was this doubt that was there, of course, but I was still trying to believe in it. It can be very hurtful to your self-esteem. Uh, I mean, you tell somebody you're an atheist, someone you love, someone in your family, and they threaten you with hell. I think the primary thing that these secular organizations are introducing into the culture is doubt, which is probably the healthiest thing that anyone can have. Well, I started this group because um, I have certain political values that I hold in which I saw that in society, atheists weren't really being given certain rights. I saw no representation of people like myself on campus. Second reason was to dispel myths about atheism, this idea that we're immoral, bad people. Are we evil? Uh, Satanist, crazy, child-eating. TV punks psychos, and we're really not. We're really into educating people. Most of our groups advance the idea that reason over faith needs to be used in the decision making both geopolitically um, and locally. We try to do educational displays on evolution, um, physics, uh, quantum mechanics, in sort of an effort to dispel things like creationism, uh, a lot of pseudosciences like astrology. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would love to get. <gasps> Were you one. filming that? It, I've always heard it said that it's better to learn from your peers. Uh, don't use any of that about the Hindus. Have I ever felt threatened for my beliefs and ideas? Oh my, name the day. I've personally been directly threatened uh, on, num on a number of occasions. We had gotten into a conversation about someone here on, with someone here on campus uh, about whether or not this was a Christian nation. He was you know, yelling at us, calling us names. Flinging his arms around, yelling at the top of his lungs. You know, you're stupid, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, you don't know anything about the Bible. And uh, near the end of the argument, he decided to threaten that if he ever saw me on campus, he would hit me with his car. I eventually called campus police and they took him away from us. I would really like to see the whole courtyard filled with people attending one of our events and agreeing with us instead of a bunch of people yelling at us and telling us we're evil. A year from now, I'm not really sure where we, where I see Metro State Atheists. We're kind of at a crossroads right now. I'll be graduating at the end of the semester, which means I'll no longer be able to serve as an officer. Since I graduate next fall, my hope is that it stays on campus. I'm also a CFI on-campus regional coordinator, which is my job to see other groups and get them affiliated with the CFI because they help out groups a lot. And we've considered sort of taking it off as a non-student group nonprofit organization. We've also considered sort of working with other campuses to start local secular groups. Do you like Satan? Hmm? Yeah, do you like Satan? Do you have to bear with him? I'm hoping it'll stick around doing the same thing we're doing, educating people. Um, I hope it grows. I want it to influence more people in a positive way. What I would say to those kids that are doubting and maybe are afraid to come out if they already are doubting or they feel they are an atheist, to understand that fear is not any reason to not do something. It's hard to maintain, especially a literal belief in dogma, after you've learned to apply the scientific method as the standard for truth. Doubting really says, I am a pure seeker of truth. It's not a bad thing. I think it's a fight that's important. I think we should still work for it regardless. Uh, I mean, half of life is the journey, I think regardless of the consequences. We wouldn't be doing this if we didn't care about our country and the world. She asked me why. I just went on and told her. She asked me why. 
I just went on tour. 